it's a cool. Oh, if you haven't seen this one, you're in for a you're in for a treat. If you haven't seen this, here we go. Starting things off. I like to call this team Plus Ultra because it brings the damage. So let's see what we can get it done here. I'm feeling it. So like, if he leads Incineroar, I'll probably actually I could just bake that thing on if I wanted to instead of a Trick Room if I wanted to. Let's see. Let's see. We got Porygon and Smeargle versus Teeth Argothitel. All okay. right. Do you guys think he's gonna Trick Room me? What do you think? I'm just gonna spore his Titar. Ooh, I can't switch. That sucks. I'm just gonna Z move the damn Gothitelle. Breaknecked. Wasted. I could spore that Gothitelle. I could spore the Titar. I'm just gonna spore the Titar. Here we go. Mega Titar. That's totally fine, by the way. Better care with this freaking god to tell. He's probably going to Trick Room or Z Trick Room the Porygon. I, I as long as he's not protecting with god to tell, we're good. Because I need to kill it so I can start switching. I would Z move the Porygon with Titar. Dude, they don't carry Z moves. Always, it's always the Mega. If all right, all right, I'll explain how this works. If they lead their weather in an in unnatural situation, because Torkoal is a lower speed turn. So if I lead Torkoal and he leads Titar. The fact that he webbed with the Titar means that he's mega. That's what that means. Because he's like, I can just mega and regain weather control. If he would have kept Titar on the back, that would have told me that it wasn't mega Titar. Yo, we freaking take those! Get that out of here! Whew! Whew! Yo, what kind of moody procs are we gonna get? Show it to me. Show me those moody procs. Show me what you're working with. Oh, DC! Easy money! Dude, I'd DC too if I sucked. Alright. Literally wasted. He tried to beat the Lily Cole lead and I didn't leave with it. I take those, man. What else is Smeargle gonna do? I'll put you to bed. Alright, here we go. Now the game. I can dig this. There's not a single trick room in sight. All right, so we go Smeargle, Porygon, Torkoal Machamp. Actually, I could just Lily Cold this guy too. I could totally Lily Cold this guy. Dude, I'm thinking about it. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna supposed to. This is what I'm supposed to do, so I'm gonna do it. But I could totally Lily Cold him too. These guys are like, ah, oh, Lily Cole, I thought I left that in the dust last year. They're not supposed to still use that. It's like the guy that we fought that was using Lele Blim today. Using the Thief Drift Blim that took my Assault Vest. Oh, dude, that was so raw. I actually think Decidueye is really good right now. I've been trying to make a team that can use it. I know it's totally gets bodied by Incineroar, but it's so good because it can't get fake outed. You can just be like, I'm going to Tailwind. Also, you can't use Gastrodon. Like, that's enough for me. Also, like, Rain probably kind of struggles against it. So, like, decent Rain matchup. They can't bring Gastrodon, and you can't fake out it. Like, that's enough. That's enough for me. So, here we go. See this guy's team is. Show it to me. Show me what you're working with, my guy. Hmm. I hope he just leads, like, Coco and something stupid. Don't lead Zard. Don't lead Zard Coco. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, that's still totally fine. It's still fine. I think I can eat, like, a Heat Wave and a D-Gleam, but, like, I don't wanna. I, it's not in my nature. So, a nice little Electrical Surge. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this guy get up whatever he wants to do. We're actually just gonna follow me. So, we're gonna follow me. And we're just gonna Trick Room. You know. Good old bread and butter. He's probably thinking fake out Z move, like the Porygon Z conversion. Or he's like thinking it's just gonna trick him, so I'm gonna taunt it. Hopefully our Porygon 2, our Porygon Z can eat a heat wave and a D Gleam. Oh it's X! Alright, we're fine. It's X though, guys. What the X? 
What in the Charizard? Follow me. You can follow me. Thunderbolt. That's fine. Yo, if he actually goes D-Dance, this is bad. It's not bad, but I don't like it. Orbed. Okay, that's good. And D-Dance. Alright, I need the Smeargle to go away. I need my Smeargle to die so I can make this work, please. If you could please just kill my Smeargle, I'd really appreciate it. I'm actually just going to Hyper Beam that, so I'm not going to Z-Move it yet. Don't give me evasiveness boost. Drop my evasiveness for all I care. Alright, so we're just going to follow me. And I'm actually just going to raw Hyper Beam. I'm not going to Z-Move. Because I don't want to... I think he's going to just protect. So follow me here. And Hyper Beam this guard. Hopefully he KOs the Smeargle somehow. Here we go. He's not protecting. I'll take that. That's fine. Hyper Beam. Yo, we in there. Big damage. No whammies. Please go away. Whew. That cooks. Dude, Hyper Beam just cooks, man. I love it. Volt Switch? Yeah, dude, freaking go for it, champ. You have Volt Switch and Thunderbolt. I hope you know that. There you go. I discovered my college professor as a Pokemon trainer. He was me playing Pokemon, so he asked me some Ivy and Nature questions. The whole class was like, what the fuck are y'all talking about, dude? I believe it. I've done that stuff uh, when, I was, when I was a college lad. I, uh... I did a lot of stuff back in school. Oh, dude, send out the Coco too. Send out the double Tapu, and I would just eat it up with eruptions. Because right now he's like, oh, he has to recharge. And I'm like, yeah, I have to recharge, but you're so gone. You're so gone, my guy. Now, the weirder thing is running into, like, your teacher or something at an event. That's the weird one. Ooh, Melodic. Melodic's actually really good here. But we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll probably have to Z-move it next turn. That's what I'm saving the Z-move for. He's probably just going to Scald me and Protect with Lele. That's what I would do. I would Scald and Protect with Lele. Here we go. He runs a Rain team. Dude, I'm not surprised. Rain's busted. Wasted, though. Wasting that Lele. Power of the Sun. And let's see the Modic Scald. Scald Arena. We take those. Gonna do a good chunk. Nice little chunk there. Trickle Nash recharge. Yeah, all I gotta do is Zima the Melodic, hit the Coco. And, uh, you know. Then we're off to the races. Actually, I can still KO Coco with this eruption. <laughs> I'm not a fool, but, like, bruh. That's one thing I like about Punish Jonah. It shows the exact power of your eruption based on how much HP you have left. I love that. Oh, not Hyper Beam. We're gonna Z move him. He hasn't seen the Z move. He probably thinks he's okay. Here we go. I wouldn't be surprised to see double protect here either. But then, oh, no double protect. No, nothing. You ain't got nothing. Coco's pieced. And we didn't have to Z-move the Melodic. But remember, Hyper has a 90 base accuracy. And you know what I want. I want it. I want it. You give it to me. I'm still going to take it. So we're going for a Breakneck Blitz. Boost off Hyper Beam. Adaptability stabbed. The strongest move. Not the strongest move in the game, but it's, it's up there. I'm thinking of moves that are stronger, like a Choice Banded, Zwellius, Hustle, Stabbed, Outrage, might be stronger. That might be a little bit stronger. But, this is quite strong as is, we take these. Pretty good stuff, dude, I love this Torkoal team, it's so much fun to play. And I bust it out every once in a while, when I just need to go pick me up. And it serves, serves that purpose. It's a good team for climbing ladder. It is a noob stomper. Like, that guy's team, he could have totally beat us. It totally, we totally could have lost trying to play a straight up game against that guy. Holy Steelix, what is that? I, dude, I love Steelix so much. And I would just really like to... Eruption on it. <laughs> Here we go, how are we going to deal with this? I mean, I could Lily Cole that so much. I'm just going to Lily Cole this guy. Right? No, wait, is... Oh, Giggle, Giggle is slower than me, isn't he? Yeah, Giggle is slower than Torkoal. So I can't do that. We should play sometime? Dude, dude, I'm down to play after this game if you want. You want to play after this game? We'll play after this game. Let me just go Smeargle Porygon and just play this last game, and then I'll figure something out. Alright. Hmm.
let's see. How am I really going to deal with this? Steelix is probably just there to bait me. Dude, I should make a Steelix team. I'm going to write it down. Play Steelix. I have some Steelix memes that I could show off that no one... No, no, not everyone see my Steelix memes. Sure, 18? Yeah, you'll play, we'll play 18. I'm not going to use the rain team, though. So... How do I actually win this one? Do I care what he has? He has a Coco in the back, right? He might I think he might switch Coco in. Or switch Venus run or something. So I'm just going to go with the follow me trick room. And I'm just going to bring out my uh, Torkoal and just rock him. Yep. The people have switched in. That's so good for me. That's so good for me. Because he's not going to have his weather up. Actually, I'm just going to bring my champ in. Fuck that. Yeah, just leave your friend code, and uh, I'll leave mine. Battle, man, I'm rusty. Last time I had a team, it was probably to what do you call it, Toxicook. Mega Septile, dude, that's my thing. We've played, we've played actually a few times. Uh, I think we've played three times, but you didn't know you were playing me. <laughs> the last time we played, though, you were using the uh, Gengar Wimscott team, I think, though. Speed rose sharply. Yeah, I kind of just want to run from this game because I want to play. How do I win this one? Then? Yeah, I gotta switch in the. Uh, gotta switch in. Well, I'm gonna try and go for a spore. It's not gonna work. And I'm just gonna have to stream a champ. Do I use Gengar Cut? Dude, it's good. It's still good. Yeah, I have a few alts that I use on a uh, battle spot when I don't want anyone to see something. Cool. I'll add it after this game. Mega. Mega Steelix. Really surprised you knew that last turn. Oh, hey. My Nightbot worked. I didn't even know that I had a Nightbot. Jelly Sound set that up for me, like, the other day. Awesome. I'll take it. Sorry, I'm just answering a text. One sec. Alright. Uh, dude, we just fucking lost this game. I just want to see his wide guard and then we'll scoop. I did not pay attention to this one at all. I haven't even looked at any of the moves that Steelix has done. Has it done anything? Like, I was answering a text, I'm talking in the chat. Let's just heat wave and dynamic punch. I mean, it's possible he sucks. <laughs> Anything's possible. Alright, show me that wide guard, though. He's withdrawing Gigalus? He's prepared to lose both of his Pokemon this turn. Is that worth it, my guy? Is that worth it? I don't know, man. He's, he's Okay. What the hell is switching in here? Melodic. He's still going to lose both of them. That doesn't change anything. Unless it's... It wouldn't be Sash Coco in the, in the whatever team. Yeah. Yeah, he's, oh, actually, my Lodic's gonna live here. Unless I crit it. Look at that dude. About to be big. Now nah, he's out. My Lodic's out, dude. Alright. He still lost both of them. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit soft, though. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I can't even... I can't protect. I'm protect. I'm really gonna, like... Orb with four four offensive moves, because you, you need all four of those for coverage. And... Gigalith should be slower than me. Is Steelix a rock, or is he just a steel now? Steelix looks so cool, man. I remember in Oras, like, he used to, like, lag the game. Like, a Steelix? Is he rock steel? Steel ground. Bruh, I'm just gonna earth... I'm just, I'm just gonna fucking do it. Hold on, let me check this... This trick room turns. I don't care. If I lose its turn, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. I'm slower than he is. I'll take it. I guess we could win, maybe. Definitely, maybe. What you working with, my guy? Stomping tantrum. That's not stabbed. You you lose, but you lose, my guy. Oh, how do you, how do you throw that? Isn't Torkoal? Isn't Gigalith supposed to be slower than Torkoal? 
Am I wrong? Was Torkoal sore than Gigglet the whole time? Did I just I just totally bodied that man on accident? <laughs> yeah, someone in chat hit me with that knowledge. My 2017's a bit rusty. I always thought Gigglet was slower, but I I just don't remember. 